Hello, welcome back to the channel. So today is um, some more project shares for scrapvideobooddesigns.com. Um, this is all of Erica's information. So um, all the social media and then um, also if you guys, um, even, if, even though you're not on the design team, if you make something with your dice, share it here on hashtag scrapvideobooddesigns. Um, there's tons of inspiration there, and um, yeah, let her see your work, and yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I'll have all the links below for you guys. So first up, what I am sharing is using this soda bottle shaker. So you got um, like a back piece, a layering piece, and then um, this piece right, oops, sorry, this piece right here um, on top is the, the shaker part right here. And then you got like a label for it, and then here's the lid, and then you get two words with the shadows, um, soda and cheers. So if you wanted to make it, you know, a wine bottle or something like that, you could do that also. So I made this, um, I decided to make it something different, rather than just soda, I decided to make mine a milk bottle for Santa. So I think it turned out really cute. So I have my little Santa bottle here. I made the background out of white glitter and I made the, um, you know, the label out of white um, glitter also on the top. And then the shaker part I made out of this red um, corrugated paper that I have here. Okay. And um, I put a cute little shaker mix in there with some tiny little beads like white and um, light pink and stuff like seed beads. And then a few of these little clay, you know, candy pieces like peppermint. And then, um, oh, a few of the diamond dots. The red ones are the diamond dots. So cute. And so then I used, I forgot to bring it over, two of them. Okay, so one of the dies I used for this was an old, old die that I had in my stash. <laughs> I think it's quick cuts or something like that. And it had like a little cup and a, and then this um, platter and cookies for, I think the title was milk and cookies or something like that. So I decided to use the platter, which is cut out of the silver back here, and then put my, my milk jug for Santa on here. And then I use these cookies from the um from that die to make my little cookies right here <laughs> i think it turned out really cute so i tied some uh, twine up here this is just a piece i had in my stash got a cute little um candy cane from hobby lobby um i tied some cute little bells on there um this uh flower die poinsettia flower i had in my stash that somebody made me i didn't make this one um, and then this is a couple of the leaves that came from, so where I got the word from is Scrap Diva. I forgot to bring that one too. Dang it. Um, it's a one piece die. It says cookies for Santa. And then it has these two little pieces underneath. So it's, anyway, it cuts out the letters singly. Um, so I just used for Santa instead of the cookies for Santa. And, um, so I just put, cause there wasn't enough room. And then I didn't use the whole piece together because... You know, it would have covered up the whole thing. There was not much space left. Um, so that's why I just wanted to do the For Santa that I just attached to my little label piece there. Okay, and then I just tucked those two little pieces in there to be just some little sprigs hanging out. So I think it turned out really cute. So layered up and a cute little shaker. So I just thought, you know, a different take on the soda, soda bottle shaker. So it turned out really cute. So that is that die. <clears throat> Next up, I made, um, let me show you. So I made a couple of little, uh, like little banner, flag banners. This die, um, these dies that I used are, Okay, so the base is from Scrap Diva also. This is the wavy, wavy, wavy flag or wavy tag, wavy tag set, I think. 
love this set. I use it all the time. Oops, piece fell off. So I use this one. I use the smallest one, okay, for my base. And then I used um, the new um, scrap from Scrap Dewey's newest release is her um, uh, zigzag. Um, it's called a zigzag pinwheel. You get three different sizes. There's the other one up there. Sorry. So there's this. There's the smallest, medium, and largest. And each of them have two layering pieces that are stitched. Okay, so that's what I use to make my pin, uh, my pinwheels. Okay, and then I also used this die set, which is uh, Summer Words 2, for all my words on, on these um, projects. Okay, so I think these turned out so cute. So this one is the smallest one. This is the smallest pinwheel. Okay, and I did layer it. Um, I, I did use um, double-sided paper on here, but I decided to layer it anyway. I just thought that made it, just gave it, a, you know, another dimension, um, more dimension. So um, you don't have to use a layering piece, but you can. I've done some with and some without. So anyway, look how cute that is. It came out so cute. I just sandwiched these cute little, um, this is from an old doodle bug some ephemeral stuff that I had, these cute, these cute little, uh, uh, like little straws. So I think they're supposed to be like cupcake toppers or something like that. And it came with different cardboard, um, chipboard pieces in there. I never, I didn't use these, but anyway, I just thought those little colors were so cute and so little. So it matched my collection, which by the way, I am using, um, sunny days for this, these projects, um, by Maggie Holmes. So Anyway, I used these cute little straws in there, and I just um, attached it here. Um, I got some flowers. I had my stash. Um, this is a Hobby Lobby sticker. It's got the shell with a pearl in it. This is just a cabochon that I received in a in a swap. Some cute little butterflies. Um, everything is popped up on foam again. There's foam behind the word. It's layered up on the on the um, blue shadow piece, the the eye, the tittle on the eye. If you ever watch um, <laughs> Laura, um, she creates for like My Favorite Things and a whole bunch of different companies. Anyway, she always says, and don't forget the tittle. That's the official name for the dot on top of the eye. <laughs> so anyway, I use that a little um, uh, diamond dot, peak diamond dot for that. Okay, and then this piece right here, the swimsuit, it is part of um, the beach ball um, mini album set. So you got all your layering pieces for the ball. You also get these pieces that are really super handy, this, the, um, and they're good size um, for like embellishments and stuff. So you get the umbrella, you get the layering piece, the, the surfboard, and the layering piece for the surfboard. You get this swimsuit that you layer this one on top of that one really cute and then this tiny little bow so anyway i used um the swimsuits and the um surfboards on these so isn't that cute i think they turned out really cute so there's the one okay now here's another one that i made you know kind of a pick type thing for so uh, basically same type of thing now this one is the medium size pinwheel this one was a single-sided um, paper, so I layered it. I layered up just two sides of the inside of <clears throat> this pinwheel. So you got pink showing through a couple sides, and then just white on the other. So that looks cool too. Okay, another flower, another one of the words surfing that comes in the um, summer words to collection again. This is the um, surfboard layered up. Okay, and then a cute little butterfly there on the side. And this is a puppy sticker from uh, Hobby Lobby. Comes from um, this set right here. <laughs> Has some crabs and starfish and stuff, so I use that. This is the the shell that I used on the other one I just showed you from Hobby Lobby also. So anyway, this is my second one I made. So really cute. Okay, and then next, I made another one that's not a pick, but 
So here it is. So this one here is the largest pinwheel. This paper, uh, let's see, was it double-sided? Okay, no, this was single-sided, um, but I layered it up with this, and I did layer every, I did two different colors opposite, so um, all four, you know, of the arms, or whatever you want to call them, are, are layered. And then I just attach this one with a really big brad in there. A little cabbage straw back here. Another one of the words from the from the um, summer words too, fishing. And then here's that little one of the little crabs from that little set I just showed you. Little flower. Here's one of the swimsuits again, layered up, really cute. And then here's another one of the surfboards. I put it back here, kind of behind. And then I use this is the capsella leaf. I use these all the time. I told you guys I was going to, <laughs> and I do. I use these all the time. So always to stick in behind some place just to stick out, you know, just for layering. It just turned out super cute. Um, and then right back here, this is, it seems like it's like an actual, it might, I don't know if it's an actually, I think it might actually be a starfish, just a tiny little one. Somebody gifted me these in a, um, in a swap. And so I have a couple different sizes of them and I decided to tuck one back there. So I think they turned out really cute. So it just could be just like an embellishment. You could use it in front of a card or some kind of happy mail. You know, it could even be a bag topper. I could attach it to a bag topper, you know, whatever. So that is uh, the largest one, okay. And then lastly, I made this one. This one doesn't have a pinwheel on it at all, but again, I used the weighty tag uh, flag set, okay. Here I have a couple of tiny, of uh, this small um, flip flops which is from the flip flop mini album set so you get everything to make this big um you know normal size um, flip flops album then you also get these mini pieces so you got a mini set of flip flops here's the little you know the toe piece um there's some flowers yeah so that's what i used to make these little flip flops and then i just put a little gem on there for in between the toes there this flower is one I already had made um, using uh, Erica's Edge Flower die set. I love this one. So that is one that I had already done from that. There's a chipboard piece from the Sunny Days collection. This piece right here is a. It's from the set too, back there. Okay, I just, lay, just use that more as a layering piece. Capsella leaves again, back behind there. Um, I didn't like, I had this way, way up on foam and I just didn't like how it looked so all the foam showing through kind of. I mean, you didn't see it from front, but looking the side, it was just standing, you know, like glaring at you. So anyway, I just tucked a piece of, a scrap of um, tool back behind there. So gives it some more, um, you know, texture and covers that up a little bit. And then I just attached one of these cute little, um, this is from Hobby Lobby too, these cute little popsicle things. I got on clearance for 62 cents never I think I have two packs never I'd use any so I decided to pull one out there because I thought it looked cute with the picnic and you know the watermelon and everything so that's how that one turned out so I love all these I think they turned out really cute along with my cute little Santa Santa's milk bottle and cookies so anyway leave me a comment below let me know what you think um, if you have any questions be sure to list them down below also i'll link all the dies that i use down below along with my affiliate link to the shop and you can use my discount code polka10 that's p-o-l-k-a-10 that will give you 10 percent off at checkout thank you so much for watching everybody hope you're having a great summer and i'll see you soon bye